Okay, we're down here at the creek. I've got my $30 Timu fishing kit. I have very little time, so I'm going right to a spot where I've caught fish before. And I'm going to throw this little tiny, little tiny 116th ounce single hooked spoon and see what I can get. I thought I saw like a little creek chub floating around here somewhere. So we'll see if I can get anything on this little spoon. Ooh, there we go. Got a little something already. A little tiny largey. There we go. That was quick. Ooh. Whoa. Oh, all right, well, we lost him, but I'm sure I got you on camera. Little tiny largey, first cast, snow skunk, mission accomplished. Now the mud from my uh, walking around is going through that little deep spot. Something's chasing it. I spooked off already. Nope. Chased it kind of, followed it kind of far. Gotcha. Oh. All right. <laughs> All right, my, uh, I should have checked my drag. My drag was really loose. Let's see what we got here. We got a red breast, a decent sized red breast. We shouldn't have been able to pull drag that bad, but. Come on. There we go. And you're off too. No pictures this time. We'll pull the pictures off the uh, off the video, I guess. Let me just. Drag is like either on or off. Somebody went for it. Well, this little tiny spoon definitely works as a works as a creek lure. Little creek fish are going crazy for it. So this little hole extends over there. It's not too deep, but it's deep enough. And there's a nice hole past that piece of wood over there. So oh, kind of missed the edge. Might still get something's attention though. I do have some issues aiming with this, <laughs> with this combo. Something's following it. Something small. It turned away. I want to think it's a chub or a fall fish. Let me actually see if I can get it in the hole. Yeah, something went after it. 
There we go. What do we have? Another little, little bitty red breast. There we go. Little red breast. Oh, somebody hit it. Oops. Something's chasing it. Something small. Even though that was a terrible miscast. Got somebody. We got a little bluegill this time. Tiny, tiny bluegill. There we go. Yep, somebody picked it up as soon as I as soon as I dropped it. Let's see what you are. You're a good size. You're a good size green sunfish. Well for this for this little creek. Nice green sunfish. Let's see if we can get this hook out. Come on. There we go. Nice little green sunny. One of the better ones I got today. Alright, so the drag on this reel is a little sus got to tighten down if I get into something big. Uh, it might not go too well, but I don't think there's anything particularly big in here. I don't think there's anything that's going to be in here that's going to be big enough to be a problem, I should say. Alright, we're going to come up here to the log. Nice, nice deep spot. Usually fish in here, so oh, there's something chasing it. So some sunnies chasing it. Let's see if they can get annoyed enough to actually eat. Oops, 
somebody bumped into it. Yeah, so I'm just straight retrieving it, but I'm giving it a little tiny twitches and pops every now and then. There's something over here before. Yep, something bit it. A whole pack of little, uh, little sunnies were chasing it. And throw a little further out. Gotcha. Got somebody on the line. Here we go. Another nice red breast. There we go. Oops. Careful. There we go. free. There we go. Back in. Somebody picked it up. Gotcha. This little red breast put up a nice fight on this light tackle. Uh, that's not a red breast, that's a green sunfish. Gotcha, unhooked. There you go, nice pretty green sunfish. Okay, there's a little bit of a hole here. I can see some little minnows in it, just so I don't get caught. I'm going to throw a really short cast in there. I got lots of little minnows in this pool. I think those are baby creek chubs. I can uh, find a good spot to stand in here. I can get in here, throw a couple. And then get back up the bank. And head out. A little deep here, but there's a deeper spot here between these two fallen logs, which is where I want to cast. Hopefully, I can keep my accuracy up. But that one didn't. I actually stopped that one short because I was didn't want to drape it over the uh, 
I don't want to drape it over the log. Maybe I'll get a little closer. There we go. Oh, had a nice hit. There we go. Came back for it. Nope. Had two nice hits. Yep, got him. Little green sunny. Very little, barely able to get this hook in his mouth. But a fish is a fish. Oh, barely hooked. There we go. Nice little green sunny. He wasn't the one that was hitting really strong, I don't think. It felt bigger. Whoever splashed over there is that. It's probably who was hitting strong. That's a little short, but... I want to be a little closer to the laydowns. I'm being a little tentative because I don't want to get hung up. Gotcha. Let's see what do we have here? It looks like a looks like a Oh, I was gonna say it's a creek chub, but it's a little pickerel. Little baby pickerel. Oh, he's gonna flip himself off, isn't he? Jeez. Don't make me get the pliers out for you. Look at that, beautiful. Oh. Just held on by a little thread. Come on. Get you in the water a little bit. There we go. Got him off. All right. All right. But I think I'm going to have to get going, so this will be the last cast. Nice placement right where I wanted it. For a change. All right, nothing else there, so not a bad creek fishing session. We got a bunch of a uh, couple of red breasts, some green sunfish, we got a small pickerel, and we got a small bass. So, not bad for. A lure this tiny on a uh, on a fishing kit that barely costs thirty dollars. I mean, this reel is really cheap. The rod isn't too bad. I'm struggling with the feel for it a little bit, so my accuracy is a little all over the place. The reel, uh, the drag is kind of hard to get set, 
and like I said last time, the handle is really flimsy, but it works. <laughs> and for $30, I wouldn't have a problem, you know, getting a slightly better reel than this and replacing it. Because the rod is pretty reasonable. Uh, it's nice to have a travel rod that I can fold up and just shove in the back of the car and carry around in a backpack or something. So, you know, hopefully we'll use it again. So far, so good. Still very happy with the $30 Timu combo. combo. Um, next time I take it out, maybe I'll try the hard baits. <laughs> we'll see. So it did good for creek fishing. It did pretty decent in the pond and in the spillway. I can't say I can complain about it. Uh, and I'll uh, see you next time.